I'm Ali. I'm going to introduce to you how to do a rapid response test. It's a very simple and quick procedure and gives you results within 30 minutes. You'll be told what time to arrive for your test. You need to come to the outside of the main hall and enter through the door into the hall. You'll notice there's lots of yellow and black lines. Please stand behind a yellow and black line to keep yourself two metres away from everyone else around you. Once you're in the hall, you'll be asked to stand in a swipe box. The person on registration will then ask you a few questions, spray your hands, give you a barcode and a registration card, and then tell you where to sit. Hi there. Hi. What's your name? Uh, Ali. Perfect. And do you have any symptoms? No, not today. Perfect. I'm just going to give you one of these. Can I just spray your hands Watch first? Your you'll need this to register, so make sure you take it with you. And if you could go sit in E1 for me, please. Of course. Thank just you. Just over there, follow the white arrows. Thank you. has just given you a card with some barcodes and a sheet. This sheet will help you to register for your test. It's really important that you register and put a mobile number so that in half an hour, 45 minutes, we can then text you through your results, whether you are positive, negative, or it's a void result. If it's a positive, we will phone you and speak to you firsthand. We won't just send a text. When everyone is ready and they've sat down, you will then be led to where we do the test. The line will get called and you walk down past the test uh, operative who will spray your hands and give you a tissue. You then go and stand by the table that is the same code as the back of your chair. For example, this chair is E4 and you go and stand behind E4. So I'm going to very quickly talk you through the two methods. The first method uses a tonsils and a nostril. If you're not sure where your tonsils are, if you open your mouth really wide in a mirror and look for the two little white bits right at the back of your throat. Some of you might have had your tonsils removed, so it's where they would have been. If you're worried about using the tonsil method, you don't have to, but I'm just going to show you what to do. First of all, you need to do 10 swipes either side of your tonsils for 10 swipes or 10 seconds. I'm going to use the mirror to help me. Once you've done that, that's your tonsils completed. Make sure you don't touch your teeth, your tongue, or your cheeks while you're doing that. The next thing you need to do is choose one nostril, and you're going to insert the swab up into your nostril to about two and a half centimetres worth of depth. That's about half the size of an adult's thumb. Again, it might tickle, and you should feel it slightly, but it shouldn't hurt. Choose one nostril and do ten little twists. complete, you need to place a swab fuzzy side down into the vial. Try not to touch the sides of the vial. Place it in and then you're done. Yep. The second method is just the nostril method. You need to put the um, swab up each nostril for 10 little circles, again two and a half centimetres up. Use the mirror if you'd like to or if you don't want to, you don't need to. And then, again, like before, you place it fuzzy side down into the vial without touching the sides. And that is you complete. All you need to do now is once everyone has finished, so 20 people in one go will be tested, you'll be told to put your tissue in one hand and all the other rubbish in another hand. Make sure you take this registration card home with you or to your next lesson and register. If you don't register, then you won't find out your result. Thank you for watching this short video. If you have any further questions about the testing process, please email us at jcainfo at clf.uk and I'll get back to you. If you haven't already, please also complete the consent form to allow your child to be tested in this way. Thank you.